Hey what is up folks this is Sai Krishnan from Tech Geeks HD and today I am going to review the Samsung Galaxy S5 ROM from Micromax 8 Triple One which is the Canvas Doodle version 1 and after so long time I have got this phone actually this phone was with my cousin and today I flashed the ROM and I am going to show you how does it look like so let's power on so let's power on the device Okay, so actually reboot the device and show you how does it looks like. According to me, the feel of the ROM is very good. And as considered to the stock Micromax ROM and other ROMs which I have tested for this one, this is pretty good ROM. And I'll, it's very smooth. And still, I have noticed I'm using it almost for three days now, and it's very good. It's almost give you a feel like a Samsung phone, and the ROM has a hell lot of customizations in it, and which may include the Greenify app, which frees up lots of RAM, and then in built you have the recovery option, from which you you have the advanced recovery options, and then some you have some features like flasher and etc. And I will show you it in a bit. You can see it here is the boot animation, and so it is see through when it boots the android is upgrading it's very nice design by the developer as you can see that here it shows the battery percentage and here it shows the date and time so let us swipe through when you swipe here you get your camera and camera has not a major big difference but still the image quality is better than the previous rom so here is the interface on the same thing phone contact message browser and rest all you feel like it's a samsung phone as you can see how smooth it is you have basic apps like messaging email music youtube gmail etc and basically this rom is based on android 4.2.2 jelly bean so i will show you the same that version 4.2.2 jelly bean developer of this rom is pj praveen and rom name is flare droid you see that here's the date and time accessibility developer options about phone and one more thing i like more about this advanced settings here you get advanced boot and you can reboot reboot recovery insert a reboot boot letter and if you want to install this ROM, you must be first rooted and then you have must you know, install the custom recovery. I hope if you guys are seeing this video, you might have done this before. I will leave the links of the ROM in the below description. You can see here, you can click here Hibernate and the Greenify apps comes up. And click and click Hibernate and you can just select the apps which you want to Hibernate. As, as of now, I have two apps running so I can just Hibernate these apps. I have dedicated video for this also leave that and we have super user which gives super user permissions and then wiper for android and it's in sound quality sound enhancement and still it's good and then we have to grant the permission so first i will close this is no recent apps i suppose in the settings so okay, so instead of Viper you can set all the stuff here, equalizer other stuff. So and when you go to apps, I will show you the available free RAM here. You can go to manage apps and then internal storage of it you almost get 1.2 GB of free space and, and running if you see you almost get 160 MB of RAM free. Because I am running a lot of apps now on first boot you will almost get 200-250 MB of RAM free but still it's good and the keyboard is also android this keyboard uh, android lollipop keyboard as I will show you you see that when you type in something so it's very good And the browsing speed and everything is pretty fine 
this one is basically smooth than others and so, so guys that was the walkthrough of the rom and there's nothing other than this in this rom all the basic stuff but it's better than your stock rom and it's almost stable now the notifications here you can open some random apps and here it mentions about the core it's core 0 and what are the core clock that done how much of the running from here you can increase the brightness and decrease the brightness and here are the notification it's total a lot of notification like for usb debugging everything the developer has done a very good job of providing all this notification because you don't have to go and then do everything so that was the rom review for the micro uh, rom review of galaxy s5 play android rom for the micro max a triple one which was based on samsung galaxy s5 so i hope you like the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up for more videos like this please subscribe to my channel that is tech geeks hd you can also hit me on facebook twitter and instagram the links are given in the description and if you want you can also leave the comments below in your uh, comments below if you have some questions what do you think about this rom leave the comments in the description uh, leave the comments below the video and i will check it out and i will I'll be sure to reply to you guys so once again thanks a lot for watching guys this is Sai Harikrishna signing off and I will catch you guys soon in the next one. Till then peace yo. Yeah.